Are you suffering from emotional congestion? If so, this class today is for you. We're also, we're going to talk about rose quartz, rose quartz and how we're using it to relax. How we're using it to even tone our face. So today is a pink episode. So my name is Marie Ditolio. I'm the founder of Crystal Energy. I teach people how to use their body more effectively and how to use stones and crystals to better ourselves, to reduce pain, to maybe encourage healing in our bodies so that we can move forward in life just feeling healthier and feeling better in our bodies. So if you were with us last week, we, st we talked about rose quartz. We talked about how it is just amazing for self-love, for unconditional love, for self-confidence. It, it's a booster, but we also said we need to use it with a grounding stone. It needs to be used with a black stone. Ideally, I want to say tourmaline, my favorite stone, because Otherwise, we're just going to be sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. And that's not what we want to do. We just want to get through the emotion and learn. And also, Rose Quartz really, really good for forgiveness work. So that's what we talked about last week. This week, we're talking about another side of Rose Quartz, another part of Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz looks like this. You could find it in different shapes. It could be as a pyramid. It could be actually, oh, Give me a second, I'll find a natural one for you. It could be like here as a natural shape, or it could be in small parts, like grains almost, sand, or you could use different shapes. I love this one too. So rose quartz. I want to, I want to talk about emotional release today. Rose quartz is so, so, so amazing for emotional release. Let's say you have this emotional stress, you don't know where it's coming from, so you cannot deal with it. It just feels like you don't know, it's not, it's not coming out for you. You know there's something, but you don't know what. Rose quartz, let me give you an example. You're in vacation, everything is fine in vacation, and Monday morning, pressure is on the roof as you're going back to work. Now you know that emotional, there's something emotional going on at work that you're feeling like this on that morning, Monday morning when the vacation was totally perfect. So rose quartz can be about less stress, more peace, and because it's, and I love this word, it's an emotional decongestant. It's, it's removing the extras. It's like making the path so you can move and be happy and just so you can work through the emotion. The emotion is great. It's there to tell you something. You, it's not there for you to hang on to it and say, oh, I'm sad, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that, and be a victim. It's there for you to notice it so you can get the lesson and move forward. So it's gonna release the emotion for you and it's kind of like, there's a cloud of emotion working that's over you. You know, like you see the cartoon guy where there's like, no matter where they're walking, there's a cloud following them. That might, if that's where you're, that's what you're feeling, you need a rose quartz. It's gonna help you. It's gonna allow the emotions to be expressed. It's gonna allow you to express it. Let's say you have fog in a throat. It, it just feels like you can't get it out. There's something in the way, you don't know what. You don't even know why you're feeling like this. Well, if you don't know what you're feeling, those courses for you. It's going to really help you get, get the words to express what you're feeling. Um, I often tell people to sleep with it at night. When I first started working with rose quartz, I, I have a strong personality and I used to be in charge everywhere I went. So I always decided I was always the boss in my life for everyone around me, which is not the right thing. We need balance, right? But I didn't know that. And as a boss, rose quartz allowing me to express my emotions was definitely not welcome for me. So I had headaches when I was wearing it. It was not good. So ideally, I suggest if you're a strong personality or you're used to following rules, you want to have... Um, you want to 
wear it at night. Because when you're wearing it at night, at least you're not feeling the effect. Bonjour Tracy, je suis contente que tu sois là. Si t'as des questions, je ne t'as pas. So, if you're there, please wave, let me know that you're there. And what I tend to do is that at night, I would wear, I wear it as a necklace or wear it on my heart. I use my brush band, which I always talk about, tape. So I tape this down on my heart, on, the, on, on my throat. I, I like it on the stomach as well. It depends. There's some people that don't test it. There's no, there's nothing better than for you to test it. Um, I also like for, I like it on the sacrum. It just feels like it's, if you have a back pain that's related to emotions, that would be really helping. That, that would be like making the emotions more fluid. If there's more fluidity, there's more movement, then it's better. It's easier for you to express yourself. And rose quartz will also help you um, improve your emotional, uh, your EQ. We're used to working on the IQ and well, we know that your IQ is always the same, right? No matter what you do throughout your life, it's going to be fairly the same. Your emotional um, Q will be one that fluctuates. You can learn and get better with it. So with rose quartz, working with it, and under, you'll get to understand your emotions better and you'll have a better score. So it's really helping. It releases stress, it moves the energy so it's not stuck. Because when the energy is stuck, it's causing little problems. Little problems become bigger problems and bigger problems and bigger problems. So really, I encourage you, rose quartz, really good to help the emotions work in your body. That was one aspect that you really want to talk about today, but there's another part that I absolutely love. Let's talk about rose quartz. Because it's releasing stress, I like to use it to relax. So when I need, like, especially we're often seeing our face that's really stuck and stressed. You can see the jaw sometimes in someone or you see the forehead, you see the lines here. People are just like stuck and stressed. Rose quartz really good for help, to help us relax. So you can comb the area of your face and just feel how soothing it is. It just feels so, so, so much better. And yes, I'm using this one that I have that is, but you don't need a shape like this. You, if you have a pebble, you can, I, I don't recommend you use the pebble just because it's rough and doesn't, it's not smooth, but you could if that's all you have. Just don't touch the face. Just be like slightly over. But any type of rose quartz, it just feels so soothing. Sometimes that's, people will just fall asleep so deep and profound when they do that before. So you can try that. It's really good to relax. And not only does it relax the face a lot, but it also, it helps with face toning. So it's going to help your, it'll help your skin along the way. And here's a challenge for you. If you do this for 30 days and I want you to take a picture before you start and then a picture mid for two weeks later. And at the end of your 30 days, how does your, you could, if you were to challenge yourself, you could do half a side so you would really see the difference. But that would feel kind of odd for you. But you could do that. You would definitely see the effect of, of the rose quartz. It's just pure bliss for your face. So the cells of your face will love you for it. You will get more love from it because the happier your cells, the happier you are. So I really recommend the rose quartz for that. And as it gives, as it's soothing for the face, it's soothing for the entire body. So it's soothing for the nerves. It's, it's really helping us feel more grounded and feeling more calm. So rose quartz is just this amazing quality. Just keep in mind if someone has been really um, in charge or follows the rules, implement the rules, chances are they might be eh, not so sure if rose quartz might be too strong for them at first. So in that, in that case, they could wear it at night or they can just start with another stone. Um, a stone I absolutely love. Well, there's a few choices. I really love the mangano calcite. Really, to me, that was like a, a warm blanket. So it's always comfy. So they could wear, you start with that instead of rose quartz. Or they can have a, oops, a pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline works great. 
and if someone is really in need of love and when I was a police officer being in charge all the time, I really needed the love. So to me, pink tourmaline was helping me with the emotions and well, it was giving me the emotion, the love that I needed at the same time. Great choice. Or you have, can I have cobalto calcite? But the thing with this stone, I, I think it's just amazing. It works great, but you don't really see it as a pebble. So it's always rough like this, so it's not so comfy to wear on your body. But I think it works great, so you can do that. If, it's, if it works for you, don't be shy and use it. So, I spoke last week of technicalities. What's the best rose quartz? Best rose quartz, again, I'll let you know. But if there's a little li lilac lavender color in it, to me it's always better. Because there's a lithium in it. Lithium is what we give depressed people. So it's a stone of joy when there's more lithium in it. So I love when you see, when I see a lithium one. And they call often call it lavender quartz. And the price is just double. So they're pricey. But to me, worth, worth it. I prefer when a stone is smoky. Like this one. It's kind of clear, yet smoky. But it doesn't have lines. So that's my first choice when I have a choice. I want you to notice that we're, when we talk about uh, we talk about amethyst or we talk about quartz, they always have a point. And rose quartz is in the same family, but you very, very rarely will see a rose quartz in a point. Usually, it doesn't come in that shape. It does exist, but it's very rare. So you wouldn't usually you will see one like this one that's been faceted. Like the top has been faceted, it's not natural like this. But that works well, works amazing, but that works in directing energy. So if you want to send energy somewhere or remove energy, it's, it's working great. But you're not using this in a face. Way too big of a stone. You could use it inside the hand to direct the energy or outside the other hand to remove. But you don't want, I don't like putting such big stones on the body. Sometimes the body, the smallest, tiniest stones have the biggest impact. In, uh, in crystal healing. Especially if I see someone that like big, tall, strong guy, I uh, will put the smallest, smallest stones and they will say, why did you put such big stones on me? So just so you know, small stones work great. And I like it as a crystal ball as well. If you find a rose quartz crystal ball, I love it because it's so soothing and so, um, you could use it on the stomach. I, I really like to turn it around on the stomach. It just feels so good. So there, that's all, all these things you can do. It is getting rarer and rarer and rarer that you see a beautiful rose quartz like this or like the other ones that I showed you that are natural. Chances are now they're heat treated. And, um, but I always say it's better to buy heat treated than not to buy. So sometimes you won't know, most dealers don't know if the stone was heat treated or not. Why? Because they don't ask. Because they don't know that it makes a difference in the healing world. So I know the energy of one stone that has been heat treated and one stone that hasn't is a huge difference. It's the same thing as saying your spinach, the energy of spinach when they're raw and the energy of spinach cooked is different. So cooked is better than nothing but you prefer fresh it has more and it's the same thing here but if that's all you get you get the heat treated that's better than nothing on that note i really hope you enjoyed today's episode about rose quartz and it's always a pleasure to talk about rose quartz and especially because i get to manipulate it as while i'm talking to you and so if you have any questions about rose quartz don't hesitate you can ask me right now or you can ask me later i'll answer in the next uh live next week. If, uh, if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate. I would love for you to like this video. I would love for you to share it. If you think I did a good job and you think it was useful, please share it with your friends. The more people know about Rose Quartz, the better loving world we have. Uh, on that note, just don't forget. I always have this message for you. You just have one body, one stay on earth and one body, no replacement parts. So please, Take a good care of your body. And if it means giving it extra time, extra care, extra love, extra crystal time, extra time where you take care of yourself could be just like a bathtub 
or it could be reading about self-improvement. Whichever way, find your way to give your body extra love. And on that note, I just wish you the most amazing week. I'll see you next week.